Me after I told my ex-wife she was the craziest woman I'd ever known. No, I don't think I was exaggerating. If you'll forgive me, I'm a bit of a student of these matters. Me describing the size of the boil on my rear end to my doctor. If a backside could have three cheeks, they would be the three cheeks of that backside. Me every single time I speak to Mr. Miami Cuddles. Well, I can see you and I are not getting on very well. Me when the person in Starbucks says, sorry, did you say you wanted milk in that or not? You obviously weren't listening or you're not hearing me. And this was me explaining to the police why I trampled all the daffodils in my neighbor's front garden in a drunken rage. I put it down to a tidal wave of alienation. People, don't forget, use the code MR15. There's a link in the description. Go to myfragrancesamples.com. Best place to get your fragrance samples. I recommend these guys. If you're in the USA or Canada, go there. It's a great, great site. Amazing range of fragrances. Guys, welcome back to the show. It's time for a Mr. Smelly rant. I'm angry. I'm furious. Something's got to be done. Guys, we're going to talk about... I, I put a provocative thumbnail there. F compliments and top 10 lists and i'm going to come out here and say i've had enough of the talk of compliments in the fragrance community i'm it's it's too much we're done i'm going to talk today about the problem with these videos all talking about the desperate need for compliments and how you get them and all, you know the top 10 compliment getters and also just the lists in general guys how many times can you organize 10 fragrances in a list we've got people doing a list every day on their channel I, no disrespect to any of the other big channels you've had success this seems to be the formula for success but it really is a damning indictment of the state of the online fragrance youtube game in 2020 20, the 2022 that this is the only way we can have success and so these lists are just insane how many ways can you organize a summer list top summer cheapies top summer holiday fragrances top long lasting summer fragrances top winter fragrances top uh, most complimented tobacco i mean how many lists it's, it's insanity and it's not youtube's fault and in some ways it may not even be the creator's fault because many of these people they're, pro they're professional youtubers they have to get views to make a living and keep their channel thriving and this is what the public clicks on and watches youtube Yes, it has its preferences of what it will promote, but it is based on what normal people like you and me, as far as we're normal, click on and watch for a long time. And this is very, very weird. OK, so let's talk about compliments first. Guys, I've got to tell you, you know, talking about compliments all the time. Here's a great fragrance, Havana from Aramis. Very interesting, affordable tobacco kind of tobacco fougere. I like Havana. Uh, Aramis probably won't get you many compliments. So does that matter? I don't know. The problem I want to talk about here is, guys, what is going on? with the world of fragrance that we are reduced to this this pathetic kind of mentality that we, we we reduce everything to the lowest common denominator and the idea that people are wearing fragrances with this desperate need this desperate need to be liked noticed and to get compliments this desperate need for external validation really speaks to some some very unedifying parts of the human psyche i'm afraid and i've got to be honest these are mainly videos we're talking about the people who watch my channel uh you know a very small channel and the people who watch the big channels i won't mention well jeremy fragrance gent sense i won't mention names curly fragrance oh i respect all these people i'm not having a go at them they're doing what works for them to grow a really big channel which they all have this is almost overwhelmingly um is it almost overwhelmingly <laughs> almost exclusively or oh overwhelmingly a male audience they're speaking to in fact you, uh, female viewers of youtube seem a little bit more discerning and intelligent maybe in the way that they watch videos but men do want this reduced to this will get the girl these fragrances will get the girl these are the top 10 quick one for fragrances that i can get and the, you know this is the fragrance to get the compliments and this is a real real sad sad state of affairs what has happened to our community and is there any possibility i'm this is my question i want to put to you and you can answer me in the comments down below is there any possibility that someone could have a good fragrance based channel that doesn't play to these these stereotypes of what we must do to get a, a decent channel going okay so you know i look at other communities all the time i watch many different kinds of videos on youtube i look at the guy who uh, for example the the report of the week the guy who reviews fast food you may well know of him so he doesn't do a top 10 hamburgers list he doesn't do a top 10 pizzas as far as i know he may have done it once or twice but his videos get tons of views and he takes one product the new meal deal from mcdonald's and he reviews it the new type of burger from burger king and he re reviews it with his own brand of acerb wit and sarcasm and i find it very very good no special effects nothing uh, and of course there's no thing about trying to get the girl with the right hamburger or the pizza it's a different thing okay i watch the the wristwatch community 
great videos there. Sometimes they might do a top 10 affordable alternatives to the Submariner list, I guess. But most of the time they don't. They do videos about a certain one watch or they do the loads of live stream stuff going on there. Very interesting, some very successful channels. So what is it? You know, you, you watch people who do reaction videos and they do, you know, they react to one thing, they react to another thing. Why are we so, because we do this product thing, why does it always have to be a top 10 or a top six or whatever list? And why does it have to be reduced to uh, to, to, to compliments or, the, or how to get a girlfriend with these fragrances or this kind of silly, silly, silly stuff? I just don't get it. On the other hand, yes, you do have people with more integrity who do much more in-depth videos with, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes on a fragrance. To be honest, they don't get many views. And to be honest, I'm, and it's not surprising because even to me, they're quite boring. How much can I really talk about Aramis Havana for 10 or 15 minutes? Come on, how much is there really to say? I can list the notes. I can give you a synopsis of how it smells. It's this, it's this. It's a little bit fresh. It's got some some sort of masculine leathery notes in there and this old-fashioned tobacco accord. You know, there isn't that much to say. So what do we do to make this interesting? Of course, we're at a bit of a disadvantage. A fragrance comes in a bottle, but the essence of what the fragrance is is a smell. You know, I can show you my wristwatch on the screen. I can play a computer game if I'm doing gaming. I can talk about a football match if I'm a football channel that we've all just seen and we all remember everything. I don't have to show it because I can't because of the copyright. We've all seen the action and the things that happen, the drama, and we talk about that in the match. There's no drama really in this bottle, but it smells nice. But de describing that isn't very interesting. So we have to do something to make this interesting. We can show you a nice image of the bottle, but we can't really show you much. I mean, I could pick pictures of Bergamot Mott on the screen and all that, but it's, that's not going to be so great. So it is a difficult genre to operate in. I've tried to do, God knows I've tried to do some different things. I do the live streams. Uh, of course, people now complain, well, the live streams don't deal with fragrances. They've, con they've you know, there's too much drama, too many weird people on my live streams. Well, it's a fair point. There are. But the reason for that is you cannot sit there for two hours, three hours and just talk, debate, you know, what's the best girl and what's the best Chanel? Oh, did you get patchouli in that one after the third hour? That's funny because that one lasted longer on my skin. It's really not that interesting. I mean, some people do streams a bit more that way and they, you know, they've got a core audience of people who are into it. But I find it more interesting that you, you talk around subjects off the, off the topic of fragrances. And I think that could be a great way forward for the community. But what do you think? I'm going to keep doing that. I've done a recent video where I did one beer, one watch, one fragrance. Did and get a lot of views not surprising do i need to branch out and do men's style and culture and beer and watches and everything else men like to do with their hobby time i don't know man it's really difficult so let me know what you think about it but i just want to kind of, i've got to be honest with you guys i think the bell may toll soon for these channels um this is no shade on them I'm not wishing any ill will on the big channels but this cannot go on forever the public is always changing and the demand what people demand to view and consume on youtube is changing and evolving and maybe even evolving that people don't watch fragrances or anything on youtube and go to tiktok and all these other platforms rumble i don't know twitch who knows what's going to happen but i think the bubble has burst and we're going to see that these these top 10 channels where they do most complimented fragrances and they do four five six seven videos every week on the same kind of regurgitated topic people are going to drift away from this i think and i'm not wishing that on people but i think you've got to either be there's no being up with what's going on you're either behind it or you're ahead and i'm i'm not doing great with my views or anything but i'm trying to be ahead and go different do something different before the shit really hits the fan because I think this is going to blow up and or, or you know that this is going to collapse people are going to stop watching this I don't know how or why this works but things always change and this you know top 10 this top 10 this top 10 this at some point it, people are going to be done it's going to be played out and we're getting very very close to that what do you think is there room for an artistic intellectual approach to fragrance reviewing that actually gets some views do you think a live stream with people coming in from the whiskey world the watch world the this the that world talking about the amber heard case on my live stream does this seem relevant to you as a fragrance community i think it's relevant to all human beings and i find it great fun but am i just completely off here guys let me know what do we do to revive this fragrance community of ours on youtube i need your comments down below thanks very much for watching guys remember whatever you're doing let's project and sometimes life may stink but we at least can always smell good bye bye if you'd like to see an extra video from me every week sign up to my patreon group it's only two dollars a month there's a link in the description and we have loads of interesting stuff going on in there i do a lot of fragrance stuff of course but i also talk about some other things to do with my life it's really fun and i hope to see you in there as i say you can follow the link in the description or just go to patreon and type in mr smelly 1977